video on it. on the Great Lakes, my buddy Ryan, again. Wind came up, sun came out, just felt right, pre-spawn, fish are staging up. One of my favorite ways to get them, as I found out last fall, is on a skinny dipper. So you can burn it in, get some aggression out of them. Let's see if we can do it again. All right, Jeff. You must have smoked it. Oh, almost the double. Dude. Look how fat that fish is. Think you want a skinny dipper? Uh, that one's gone, dude. So, 42 degree water temps out there. 52 up here, right? Smoking a dipper. Most people think of a dipper as like a summertime thing, but dude, they're just chewing it, Jeff. So sick. That's a fat one. All right, it's a good one. Let's put her back. All right, thanks, fish. We're fishing real big water. <clears throat> and basically I'm throwing this smallmouth magic skinny dipper. So I chose this color because we were catching them earlier on free rig. Uh, different things with blue flake. Anytime you're at a place where they feed on gobies, anything with blue flake is a good idea. I'm throwing it today on this sick ass rod. This is one of the brand new Mega Bass Destroyer P5 Javelins. So this is a rod that's gonna be coming out this fall. This is the last kind of final sample. So we're out here just putting it through the paces. I'm blown away by this rod. You guys are gonna be so dope and so excited for this thing designed to be more of a chatterbait, crankbait rod, but it's so sensitive, it's a great one for these faster moving swim baits. So, I'm gonna try to get another one. That's so fun, Jeff. What a fun way to get them. I mean, you know, it's a way that hardly anybody does. So next time you guys find yourselves out in shallow water with some wind and you just need to run the bank, try the dipper. It's just a super dope way to get them. That is a stud, Jeff. That's a nice one. Let me, let me break down the gear for you guys, what we're doing. So again, we talked about throwing we talked about throwing this on the new Mega Bass Destroyer P5 Javelin series rod. This is an F575X. It's always been a rod that's been designed for crankbaits, chatterbaits, that kind of stuff. And the new P5 with that 
5D construction like in a cross weave graphite, it just, it bends so beautifully, but it's crisp sensitivity like, like crazy. It's almost like a bottom contact rod. I mean, that fish right there was as far out as I could cast and winding it to me, I felt him push it forward. I mean, it's just, it's an awesome rod. I'm throwing this on a seven to one reel. Uh, I have a titanium DC, but whatever seven to one you guys like, I'm throwing it on 16 pound Sunline Floro, five aught owner twist lock hook. I went unweighted, uh, which is normally the way I like to throw it. I'll go back and forth, but I went unweighted today because I didn't want to go too fast. Cause again, it's pretty cold, right? I mean, you can see we're all bundled up. These fish are just coming in off the lake. Uh, size five aught. So it gives me enough weight to keep it. And then a number four owner ST36 red treble hook. That's something that we always do with our dipper. Color today I've been throwing is again that smallmouth magic. It's a great way to do it. Next time you guys are out in conditions like this, suns, sun, clouds, you know, wind, shallow water, fish roaming, doing cool stuff. Dipper's a great way to do it. So we'll see you guys next time.